Hey, good news everyone. Tesla is here and they're going to stay. Maybe not so good news for German car companies, but hey, it's not like they didn't see it coming. In this video, I'm going to cover everything from job opportunities, the current progress of the factory and Alan's plans surrounding it. He's got some pretty interesting stuff in mind. But first, a little overview of what has happened. Let's get started. Less than a year ago, Tesla announced that they will build a Gigafactory in the outskirts of Berlin. To be exact, here, in Grüne Heide. They bought a 300 hectare big land for 40 million euro. Peanuts! And immediately started to work on it. The foundation stone ceremony was in March this year. So just six months ago. This is how it will look when it's finished. And this is how far they have come in just six months. They are aiming for completion in summer 2021. So they are going to build this thing in just 18 months. Initially they are going to fabricate the Model Y and later probably the new Model S as well. They will also produce the needed batteries right on spot. When fully completed, 40,000 people are going to work there, producing at least 500,000 cars a year. With that staff number, they are going to be the biggest employer in the whole region. But they are not going to start with 40,000 people. Still, they are hiring big right now. I mean really big. At the moment, they are trying to fill 12,000 positions and the application phase has just started. So if you ever were thinking of moving to Berlin, this might be the chance for you. They are hiring everything right now. Management, IT, production, logistics, you name it. You can check new public positions on their website. I put also a link for that in the description below. Aside from the public job advertisements, they are also going to use two high-profile headhunters. So don't forget to update your LinkedIn profile. What's also interesting is that Tesla announced that the minimum wage will be above the median of the Brandenburg region, which right now is 2,700 euro. So even if you're getting the worst paid job at the factory, it's still a pretty decent salary for Berlin. Now to the fun side of things. Elon Musk himself stated that in the spirit of the local culture, he will construct a rave cave at the Giga factory. A rave cave. Can't wait to see it! And Alan dancing there. I'm never gonna be that good. Anyway, since the start of the construction in March this year, it has been going with a speed unseen in Germany. Best example for the opposite is the new Berlin airport that is going to open later this month. Finally! After 14 years of construction, they will open. 14 years! The bureaucracy in Germany has become a horrific nightmare these days. Nonetheless, Tesla managed to do all this in just six months. They cleared the land, built some streets, laid the foundation, raised walls and roof, already installed some superchargers and it has gone from this to this. For Germans, this progress is mind-blowing. Construction here is usually ridiculously slow. In front of my house, they needed two years to replace the sewer pipes. Two years! In a 100 meter long street. But why are they able to do what no other German company seems to be capable of? The answer to that is pretty simple. They are already building having only a preliminary permission. That's the difference. A German company would never risk that. Props to Ellen. 
I love German cars. I really do. But if I would be a German car company right now, I would be scared shitless. They simply can't compete with the technology Tesla has to offer, especially at such low prices. And they're going to have a hard time catching up to them. Now to you. What do you guys think about the Gigafactory? Is it a good development for the region? Do you want to work there? Are you going to check out Ellen's Rave Cave? I certainly am. Hope to see you there. Now, smash that like button and take care. See you next time.